welcome to the Cornetto podcast. My name is Lene Langbelle. There has been a lot of interest for the Cornetto podcast. Many thanks for that. Much more than predicted, actually. So I've decided to go on and try to cover more issues. Some of them might seem a bit fundamental. The precise term for the cornetto in English would actually be cornet with two T's at the end. I chose to keep the Italian term cornetto. In Scandinavia and in Germany the same instrument is called zinc. Playing the cornetto is rather demanding. It does require a lot of practice. At all times through history it has been an instrument of professional musicians. The design of the instrument has not survived in any of today's woodwinds. The length of the cornetto is only that of a typical woodwind, but with its brass type mouthpiece the whole technique is based on a combination of opening and closing the finger holes which alternates the length of the sound column and the vibration made by the player's lips. This again is really special about the cornetto. Most modern brass instruments are much longer, which permits the use of harmonics, the sound being altered by valves or slides to control the pitch. The sound of the cornetto is really bright and clear. In the Renaissance and early Baroque, these qualities were very important and we have the clear evidence from the surviving pipe organs, like the Compenius organ. Several historical sources tell that, heard from distance, the cornetto could be mistaken for a human voice, mainly the castrato. A very famous comment made by the French theorist Marin Mersenne describes the sound of the cornetto in a really beautiful way, like a ray of sunshine piercing the shadows. Also, there are sources speaking about bad cornetto playing, but mainly it seems to have been performed on a very high level. In the treatise by Francesco Rognoni, he explains, and for that period quite well, about the embouchure and the sound, which should not sound like a horn, neither should it sound mute. Further, he explains that the cornetto has to be played with discrezione e delicatezza, discretion and delicacy. The intonation of the cornetto is flexible, quite a lot actually, permitting me to play with different ensembles and instruments with varying pitches. The cornetto is played with a special embouchure, which can be quite tiring. For this reason, a cornetto player normally played another wind instrument as well, like trumpet or recorder, just like myself. Thanks for watching the Cornetto podcast. Yeah.